Simple, understated, and elegant aren't quite the words we'd use to describe these ensembles. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 wildest Grammy outfits ever. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at outfits that musicians and guests wore to the Grammy's ceremony. We're including outfits worn by both women and men, but not including any outfit that a person wore to perform on stage. If you think we missed one, check out our list for the top 10 most memorable Grammy red carpet outfits. Number 10. OK Go The popular early aughts indie band is known for often wearing coordinated outfits, but they took it to the next level with their 2007 Grammy attire. The guys wore the exact same gold and maroon brocade suit, which was weird enough, but to add to the look, they covered their faces in maroon fabric. Their clothing seemed to be a joke about wearing literal carpet to the red carpet, since they later laid down on the carpet as if they were trying to blend in. It didn't quite work, but they get credit for trying to make a joke at an awards ceremony that can often be taken too seriously. Number 9. Jacqueline Van Bierk Two years in a row, Jacqueline Van Bierk has managed to get the fashion critics talking about her Grammy attire. In 2016, the black see-through villain-esque gown she wore commanded people's attention, but it's her 2017 Mermaid CD gown that stood out even more. The gown's material is see-through, but the strategically placed CDs keep things safe for network television. She paired the look with dark green hair, teal fingerless gloves, and dark makeup. Maybe the CDs are a statement against digital streaming, or she's finding a new use for old records? Who knows with this one? Number 8. Bootsy Collins not very many men are comfortable with taking big fashion risks, but Bootsy Collins is one of a kind. The funk musician arrived in an animal cheetah leopard whatever print bell-bottom suit complete with a matching oversized hat and cape-like jacket. Oh, and it also had the face of a leopard on the shirt. He also wore sunglasses and a necklace with a bedazzled star to tie the whole thing together. We gotta give it to him though, the loud outfit matched his larger-than-life personality. Number 7. Girl Crush Girl Crush the artist, not the Little Big Town song, is a pop singer best known for her dubstep hit Pills. While she might not be a household name just yet, she wore an outfit reminiscent of early career Katy Perry when she showed up on the red carpet in 2017 in a hot pink bedazzled bralette top and a skirt that looked like it was covered in the playpen balls from Chuck E. Cheese's. Twitter went wild over her ensemble, with many comparing it to gumballs as well. Number 6. Sasha Gradiva Russian singer Sasha Gradiva might not be as well known in the US, but her 2012 ensemble got the nation talking. Dressed in a strapless baby pink form-fitting dress, her clothing and makeup recalled a 1940s pinup girl. But to accessorize, she chose a shoulder piece made up of what looked like fake gun parts. She explained that she wanted to make a statement with her accessories about getting rid of all the weapons in the world and using them for fashion and artistic purposes. Whatever her intended message, the outfit definitely got people talking. Number 5. Imogen Heap Back in 2007, British songstress Imogen Heap was nominated for a Grammy for Best New Artist, a major accomplishment that was almost overshadowed by her quirky choice of red carpet outfit. Looking like a disheveled Helena Bonham Carter character from a Victorian period piece, Imogen wore a black suit jacket and asymmetrical skirt that was overstuffed with tulle and had flower patches all over it. To accessorize, she held a parasol she found at Coachella and put a bunch of grass and moss in her updo. The look turned heads, and despite the fact that she didn't win, a whole lot of people sure learned her name. Number 4. Nicki Minaj Earlier in her career, Nicki Minaj was very into the shock and awe of her various personas. In the past, she used the Grammys to really express herself, like with a Jaguar print ensemble she wore to the 2011 ceremony. But she upped the ante in 2012, when she arrived in a red Italia Versace cape that made her look like a badass little red riding hood. It wasn't enough for her to look daring on her own, she even arrived accompanied by a man dressed as the Pope. She later explained that the look was for the coming out of her alter ego, Roman, a disturbed young man whose mom called a priest to exorcise him. Number 3. Grace Jones Grace Jones is pretty much the fiercest person out there, so she can get away with anything her heart desires. She did just that with her 1983 Grammy outfit, a leather ensemble that kind of resembled a futuristic kimono. She paired the outfit with matching leather gloves, a shawl, and a hat that looked more like a rattan decorative bowl than headgear. A bold purple and pink makeup look added color to the all-black ensemble. The outfit may have shocked most people, but it kept Rick James by her side the whole night. 
Number 2. Lady Gaga Lady Gaga is no stranger to wearing some daring outfits at the Grammys, case in point, her 2016 cosmic peacock getup. But it's her 2010 red carpet look that takes the cake for being out there. Best described as unicorn meets figure skater meets shiny rock formation meets disco ball, her outfit was created by acclaimed designer Giorgio Armani, who is usually known for his sexier, more traditional outfits. It was actually one of the three outfits that Gaga wore that night, but it definitely stands out as the most original. Number 1. CeeLo Green We're not sure what inspired CeeLo to wear this gold monstrosity, but we're glad he did. CeeLo arrived at the 2017 ceremony covered head-to-toe gold in an outfit that some described as a Ferrero Rocher wrapper. His face was completely covered, and he wore a heavy floor-length jacket that made it hard for him to walk. He was absolutely roasted on Twitter for his sartorial choices, but the singer snapped back that it wasn't him in the outfit, but rather Gnarly Davidson, a person best described as one of his alter egos. I've been hearing about the guy. I saw, I saw a lot of the, the, the trouble he's making out here, man. Well, how much do you think he was wearing? Like, in gold, though. Is that, I mean, was that a real gold suit you think he was wearing at the Grammy? I don't know, bro. I wasn't there. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.